In this lecture, we are going to discuss the steps to illustrate the Routh criteria. So, there are three major steps that we need to follow to check if the system which are given to us is stable or not. So, first of all, we have to determine the characteristic equation which is given in the question. The characteristic equation will always be present in the fashion 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to 0 only. After the determination of the characteristic equation, we have to form a route array that we discussed inside our previous video. So refer that video and try to build a route array. After the successful completion and the formation of the route array, we will further move to the step 3. In the step 3, we need to count the number of sign changes first column out array. So let's move to the previous example that we did. Here is the example. In this example, the number of changes we need to count. So 10 is a positive, 9 is also a positive, but minus 3.67 is a negative number. So there is a one sign change from positive to the negative. So plus 1 is there. After that, minus 3.67 is a negative number. And 28.07 is a positive number. So there is again a one sign change. So plus 1. After that, 28.07 is a positive number and the 9 is also a positive so no sign changes there so total number of sign changes will be 1 plus 1 that is 2 only so in this example there are two changes thus we can say that the total number of sign changes is equals to 2 so what does it means it means that the total Roots that is in the right hand side of S plane 2 can be here only in the right hand side of the S plane. This is the J omega axis, this is the real axis of the S plane. So the two roots lies in the right hand side of the S plane. And according to the criteria of unstable system, if the roots lies in the right hand side of the S plane, then the system is said to be unstable system. So we can say that the system is unstable. The number of sign changes indicates the number of root of the characteristic equation that lies right hand side as plane. This line also says the concept that I explained to you earlier. So in this way, by following the three steps, step number one, determination of characteristic equation, step number two, formation of route array, and step number three, Counting the number of sign changes in the first column of a route array, we can check that the system given to us is stable or not. Thank you.